Hi, my name is Casey Browning and I'm the owner here at Retroactive Arcade and I would first off like to congratulate you on buying or looking to buy your own personalized arcade machine. Uh, it's a dream of many and uh, hopefully you'll be in the select view soon enough. Um, I guess overall uh, the reason why I'm making this video is because I just want to make note that uh, there's a lot of questions to ask yourself and or potential uh, suppliers for your arcade machine builders. Uh, basically in the end the reason why I say this is because you're not compa comparing apples to apples with all people around the world right so in North America alone there's a few different builders that do lots of things lots of different ways so these questions will help you narrow down to give you a little bit of confidence on what's going on and people aren't necessarily educated on the types of questions to ask for these types of things so um, this is a kind of a quick little outline uh, you can ask either your provider or you can ask yourself. It's up to you on how you want to do it to get to where you want to be, uh, but it's designed to give you a little bit of confidence on your purchase. Uh, first and foremost, games aren't everything. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, somebody who's got a 30,000 game list, 70,000 game list, I can pretty much guarantee you that there's a lot of doubles. There's a lot of stuff that hasn't been filtered through. There's a lot of useless garbage in there uh, that might ruin your experience. So first off, ask what's the game list, how many and why. Um, not necessarily how it functions, not necessarily the front end that they're using and all that stuff like that. You can research those little things on your own and find out what you like and what you don't like. Um, most of these things are pretty straightforward and that type of a thing. So I'm not gonna get into that. Not every builder is a bad builder. Not every builder is a good builder. There's positives and negatives to pretty much everybody and everything, including ourselves, depending on what you want, right? Um, I can pretty much say right out of the gate that if you are looking at high-end and quality, there's probably only about three suppliers or providers out there that'll have a high-end quality that is uh, second to none, that type of a thing. Uh, you'll find out by just asking basic questions. How is it built? What materials you use? What kind of experience do you have? And that type of a thing. Um, you know, the other basic questions that, you know, I would assume, assume is common sense, but I'm in the industry. So that's why I'm giving that off to you. So basically, is it modular? Will it fit through any sort of man door? That type of a thing. Modular meaning, will it come apart? Um, that also falls into place with parts themselves. Is it easy to replace the parts? Um, we're in Canada. Oops no deterrent to you, it's actually a benefit. And look at the currency conversion, you actually save 40% if you're in the US, you come here and buy from us, side note. Anyway, <laughs> if we have, if, if find out if they carry parts to replace this stuff. With that, on top of that, the parts, are they replaceable easy? Um, do they build it in a way that uh, any layman person can basically replace some of these parts? I mean, we build some of our machines, I'll be honest with you, a 7 or 10 year old kid can replace 99% of the parts that go in here. The only thing that they can't do is maybe something that's too heavy for them. Um, but other than that, the way we've set it up is it's kind of like arcade for dummies. You can't miss. When you buy from us and it's somebody say in Texas or in Germany or something like that that buys from us, yes we ship everywhere. but. Um, the logistics of helping somebody out and getting somebody the warranty coverage or repair that they may need, um, you know, that, that could be an issue for somebody uh, worried about how that's going to work, right? How's the, how's the logistics of that going to work? Are you going to ship me the product? Can I replace it myself? Is it easy to do that? Or did they build it in a weird way where you can't get your hand up and only, you know, a special tech or taking apart three quarters of the machine to get to that part is going to help you or allow you to replace it. Can you get the parts anymore? Is it just a one off? Are they, are they using the same products over and over again? Uh, or are they just doing one offs, right? Like we've seen builders build with a different monitor in every machine and they use a different mount, different everything, so that if something goes wrong with your monitor, now you have to get this whole thing shipped out and whatever. Um, don't get me wrong, that's happened to us in the past too, when the model changes after two, three, four years, but for the most part, um, you know, we, we, we do our best and, and we make sure that that'll happen and work for you. Um, like I said, with the, uh, with the shipping and stuff, you wanna make sure that that's taken care of. Uh, what's the warranty like? Um, you know, if, if the warranty is longer than they've been around um, or the company's been around, I mean, that's a huge red flag. You don't want that. Uh, if your warranty is only 30 days, that's probably a red flag too. Uh, a year, eh, it's not too bad. Anything more than a year is just an added bonus. 
if they can justify why their warranties are what they are, then uh, and it makes you feel comfortable to or it makes you feel comfortable, then by all means go ahead. Um, the list that we've given you, it's 20 questions. We'll play the 20 questions, uh, but I'm not going to go over them individually on here because then this video will be like an hour long asking the question, answering it for you, doing that type of thing. If you're serious and any of this stuff makes sense to you or this is what you want to do and you want to ask us these questions, feel free to contact us at any time. Um, that brings me to my next um, point in sale on these things. So basically, if you look at a place and they don't advertise their price online why don't they do that so contact is key obviously uh you got to build a rapport with the people you're paying the, this kind of money for and that type of a thing especially because for us um you know 90 plus percent of our customers are buying their machines and their product uh, sight unseen uh, it goes with parts goes with machines goes with everything um, everything's done online these days, so you have to build that little extra bit of trust. We're not buying this stuff off Amazon. It's not returnable. Uh, you know, most of these things, their sales are final. I mean, you're getting a custom machine that's handmade, and you're shipping it, you know, halfway across the country or three or four states over, three or four provinces over, that type of a thing. Um, you know, anything can happen. And with that, on top of that, is with the shipping. There's another good question. Do you have to find out if there's insurance? Who do they ship with? How long does it take? How much does it cost? That type of a thing. And as long as the company that you're going to deal with or person or individual you're going to deal with is, you know, giving you uh, that vote of confidence, they're reputable, they're confident in the answers that they're saying and they're telling you, uh, you should be pretty well off. Um, the only reason why I'm actually saying all these things is we've heard some bad things and uh, we want to kind of get that out of the way so that you don't have that experience because we don't want that tainted for everybody. This is a, a passionate group of people and uh, we all love the game, right? So it's all good. So thanks for watching. Download the PDF. Do your due diligence. Please look into it and uh, yeah, happy gaming.